Hi and welcome back to my channel. This is the pendant we are making today. The technique I'm using here is called electroforming. It's a procedure in which you coat the complete whole complete pendant in copper. So I'm making a base design. It took my man took me many days to vision this design and gathering gather the crystals. So the supplies I'm using are amethyst points, aqua aura orbs, gorilla glue. It's a gel form and it's very strong. And epoxy sculpt. It's an air dry clay. I really like this technique as it gives me a lot of ideas and you can make many designs. So I'm checking where is the aura is giving its shine and underneath it I'm using a black clay that will give, give it more depth. amethyst points I really like to create amulets that have some meaning behind them so this one is based on a concept that is as above as below And this is basically a snake spirit. So it's been balanced and I'm adding some textures. Here in the middle I'm using a labradorite and again you can put a black clay, here I'm using a black marker so it do secures the flash and then I see in the sun where the flash is coming and I put it on that direction. So now I'm adding the bale, it's a bare copper wire that will help the copper to travel to the amulet and then the whole pendant will be covered in copper by the procedure you will see afterwards Adding the final textures. So here it is done. Now it's time to leave it for around one day so that it everything dries. Decided to add some more texture. So these are some more amulets that I have made. In the same way these are all done before in clay then in copper and then antiqued. This is in work in progress. 
and this one as well. Now I'm adding the graphite paint. This is the actual paint that will help me help the pendant to get electroformed. So it will all be painted in the, this graphite paint and make sure no space is left. This is the paint I have used and bought it from eBay and I have to use this latex as well. It covers the crystals which I don't want to coat in copper. So this is going in the tank and here the magic will happen. So after three days, third day I just removed it. And here I'm removing It's done now. I'm adding in it in a liberal silver pot to give them an antique effect. After an hour, I just removed them from the liquid, and now I'm cleaning them after washing with the soap and clean water. And now I'm going to brush it with the brass brush. to reveal the shine. I hope you like my procedure of doing this amulet. If you liked, comment below and let me know. I'll do some more videos. And these were some of the amulets that were made. And thank you so much for watching. And if you like my channel, do subscribe. Thank you.